Hey everyone, Kite Taomi here, better known as Kite, and today we're looking at Mistcraft. Now, I went through this uh, the other day, and when I went to upload it, I noticed that the video was absolutely appalling. Um, the It was just terrible. Uh, I do not know where, what went wrong with it, but the audio was all distorted. The uh, e Even the image quality was just it was just terrible so I figured I'd just run over what I'd done and um, yeah see if we can actually write an age so basically to start off with you're gonna need these oop, these two uh, blocks you see here or this one's actually two on its own but these two ones here now they're basically ma uh, you need the uh, writing desk which is the bigger one of the two and that is pretty much crafted with just any planks and then uh, I guess in a table shape with a glass bottle in the top left hand corner and a feather in the top right hand corner now the other struck the, the other uh, block that you see there that one is called the book binder there it is that's basically made in a similar fashion but you have three ironing it's across the top instead basically what they do is the writing desk is self-explanatory, it helps you write ages. And the book binder, it pretty much binds all those pages that you're gonna write together using leather. So it's pretty they're, they're pretty straightforward, so it's not too bad. Now, as you can see just over here on the uh, right hand side, you'll see this bar that's half full with this like black liquid. That's ink, so you can pretty much copy any of these just by right clicking on them and it'll pop up down the bottom. Let's see, we'll just uh, copy one over. Let's have a look, what shall we use? Uh, just red, that'll do. There we go. As you can see, it pops up there. Now if I click that, I can drag it down. Now I've got together some pages here. So first off, we'll write We'll see how we go writing this book. This is basically, to my understanding, how to write a stable age. Now, pretty much what you're going to need for a stable age is to have a biome controller. Now, that's basically you got your single biomes, you got your large, small, medium, all those sorts of things. So, I'm going with a single biome because they're pretty simple. You only need one biome. Now, we're going to use the woodlands biome today. Now that actually goes in front, I believe. Oh, there we go, in front, just like that. Now then you're also going to need one sun, one moon, and one stars modifier. So basically I've got the normal sun, the normal moon, and the normal stars. On top of that, we're going to need lighting. I've got, oh there we go, got normal lighting there. A terrain generation. Now it's basically just your flat, which will just give you your super flat world, like you can create in in your uh, creative worlds and such. But I'm going with the standard terrain today. Then you need a weather uh, modifier, which I've only got the overcast one at the moment, so that's what I'm going to have to stick with. And right at the end there, I might as well add in something just for fun, and I'm going to try and add in strongholds. Hopefully, this should make. A stable age now at the top here we can name it so let's see we'll just name it uh, hopefully stable that sounds good we'll just take that descriptive book and there we go now we've just made that now the first thing you want to do before you actually go into any age is to make a linking book now they're really simple to make it's just you take one book you put it in your crafting section and there you go, a linking book. See, so click that, bring it down. Now that will take you back to whatever age and wherever you created it. Um, it'll take you to the that exact same place. So no matter where I am, if I use that book, it'll take me to this exact spot I am now. Now, just so I can show you, this this one here, age four. This is a randomly generated world I created earlier. We'll just jump in there and have a quick look. Go. As you can see, I have mining fatigue, so this is definitely not a stable world. If I walk out here, 
Ooh. Ah, there you go, you can see I'm burning. Now, basically that's exposure to the sky. In, in Unstable World, you'll get some sort of uh, instable uh, stuff happen. Now, unfortunately, this place will just burn me to a crisp, but it's not just me, it will happen to all the other mobs around, so I guess that's uh, at least some sort of compensation. Now, just to use this linking book to go back home, you just, while it's in your hand, just right click and then click on the big black square. That'll take you back home. Now, it does drop, so just keep that in mind. It will drop, so you will need to create another one. So I'll just quickly create another one and we can give this one a shot. Now we'll put it over here. There we go. Hopefully stable. Let's see how we go. It does take a little bit for it to load, um, but that's just because it's got to create an entire world. Oh, there it goes. Just let it all render around me. Maybe bring down my sword while I'm at it so I don't get jumped by some bad guys. Now, as you can see, we're covered by this, so if we walk out, hopefully nothing bad will happen. Well, I've got nothing there to suggest instability yet, but all's looking pretty good, to be frank. Alright. This is actually looking like a fairly decent age, to be honest. Oh. Oh, nope, just not rendering. Now, in these ages, Mistcraft itself will create uh, what they, uh, they... They pretty much, to me, they look like an old-school sort of library-looking thing, and inside you'll find pages. So, we'll just run around, and I'll have a look what I can find, and I'll be back with you as soon as I find something interesting. Alright, now I've seen this on the mini-map, as you can see, there we go, look at that. Kind of looks like a jungle temple to be honest, but there we go. Come at the front here, let's walk around. See, to me it kind of looks like an old school sort of library sort of setup. I mean, it does have the books on the inside and all, but yes. Now if we come inside, there you go, you can see you got some of these lick turns, but only two actually have something in them. So let's just have a look. Mini jungle. And what's this? Unknown major feature. Now, I'm not sure what those unknown pages are. It might just be a glitch with my uh, particular setup. But if you do know, just let me know in the comments. There we go. Now, from what I'm told, in every single one of these places, there'll be a chest hidden in one of the corners, one of the four corners. So you always make sure you knock out, you know, at least one of these bookcases just to have a look to make sure there's uh, no chest. Now if we go inside, there's even more. Oil, green, white, double length, lakes, and marsh biomes. We'll take all those. Now basically what we've got set up here is it's pretty much just your standard world um, with the exception it literally only has the one biome uh, which in this case is the woodlands biome now you can create sort of uh, mining worlds I guess you could say using a cave system um, you can't there, there is a, an extremely rare page and that one is called dense ores now the problem with dense ores is it doesn't matter what you do to that age, it will always be unstable. Um, you, you can sort of change how unstable it is by adding in uh, stuff like meteors or lightning, uh, which makes the world a lot more dangerous, but it does reduce the, um, the instability. Now instability doesn't just, uh, you know, make burst into flames whenever you look at the sky or have mining fatigue and such. Um, it also has effects such as uh, decay, which will pretty much, the world will slowly decay until it becomes nothing. Um, now that's not exactly something you want to get caught in. Now it's becoming night time, so we just might use this linking book and teleport home. There we go. Now, 
all these pages in here, you can't just put them into the writing desk. You need to create a uh, notebook. Now let's just oh, let's just ninja some of the oh, where'd I put the leather? There it is. Just take oh there we go. Already got three bits in the leather. Okay, with the leather, you pretty much just make a shape like that. And there's your notebook. Now you can store all your pages in there. It is really beneficial to have um, because I mean these pages take up a ton of uh, space, and that is not really something you want. But you can also um, set this up into categories using down the side here. Now I believe there's 25 different places, different spots that you can put these uh, notebooks. So that's 25 different categories you can essentially have. Or you can set it up so it's got, you know, a world that you want to, you know, reset over time. So, let me just drop that one back in there. Now, earlier I did create what I call the, the, the hub room. Now, pretty much it's a void world. So we'll just jump over there and have a look. Okay. As you can see, there's lightning, so that's pretty much the only instability this place has. Um, and the fact that if you step off the edge, you will plummet to your death and lose absolutely everything that's on you. Um, armor, everything, all your inventory, it's all gone. Um, and you will respawn back in that world. So just keep that in mind. If you die, you will respawn in that world that you died in. So you won't go back home. So yeah, you, you really don't want to die in those places unless you, you want to be stuck in, you know, a random time and age. Now, what I've done is I've pretty much used this as a hub station. So I've got myself, it's my place, Full Metal's place, Ankle's place, and the compound. So we'll just go check out Full Metal's place. Why well, he's not home. There you go. As you can see, I've popped straight up into Full Metal's house. As you can see, there's my waypoint. I've got Brothers in Arms over there, which is the compound. Um, Brothers in Arms just didn't fit, so um, yeah. And the hub book's just there, so just click on that. It's basically just an easy way to get around. Um, some people think it's a little bit cheaty, but I, I think it's just, it just makes things simpler. We'll just head back home. Now, you've probably noticed that I've got these two villagers just chilling out in this room. Now, these guys, they sell the miscraft pages but I mean look at that fast weather for eight emeralds now <laughs> my emerald spy is a uh, one I have one emerald so I'm not gonna be buying that anytime soon and even the frozen ocean biomes three so I might actually have to go and see if I can ninja another villager using my trusty old portal gun and uh, yeah bring him back so I've got, I can trade him something for emeralds but yeah as you can see my stable age is actually stable, so that's really good. Um, yeah, I also have the nether, which you see me set up um, back in my ender tank tutorial. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics, the very basics of Mistcraft. That's about as much as I really know about it. Um, I will have to look into it a bit more so I can take, so I can go through in a little bit more detail as to what happens. But yeah, so if you found this uh, video interesting or learned something, give it a like, thumbs up. It's muchly appreciated. And until next time, take it easy. Latest. Ah oh, man, now I'm imagining things. Each enemy killed natural your experience points that you can use to improve your vampiric powers. Enemies who have noticed you bring who haven't noticed you bring much more experience than alarmed enemies. If you manage to cross a number of areas without triggering an alarm, you will achieve additional bonus points. Alright. It was wicked!